Hi, we're back. This is Dave Vellante, and we are live here from HP Discover. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE.com's continuous coverage, wall-to-wall -wall coverage of HP Discover. We're here with Mark Potts, who is the CTO of the HP Software Division, one of only six CTOs inside of H HP. A lot of companies sprinkle that title around, <laughs> not HP. Mark, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks very much, Dave. So, you must have been pleased, uh, I presume you heard Meg Whitman's uh, keynote, Yes. Uh, you must have been pleased with the uh, the emphasis on cloud. You guys got a lot of love. And, yeah. Uh, it had to make you happy. It, no, very good so. And uh, obviously software for us is a really big part of the cloud strategy overall at HP. So uh, it's great to see it uh, getting promoted very clearly. So you guys talking about the converged cloud. Um, you know, converged is a word that HP likes to use a lot. We had Dave Donatelli on. Mm -hmm. I, th I think, you know, he said converged at least a hundred times <laughs> in his uh, segment with us. Yep. But, but, you know, that's something that he, you know, he put forth really strongly, uh, but it's, it's permeating throughout the organization now. What is the converged cloud? Yeah, so I think you're right. I think what we've done is we've uh, built on this idea of uh, converged infrastructure. We're bringing together network servers and storage into a virtualized platform or fabric for cloud computing. And that's one layer when we think of infrastructure as a service. Uh, I think equally we talk about convergence on other dimensions. So obviously uh, we talk about convergence of delivery model. So private cloud, managed private cloud, virtual private cloud, and public cloud because our customers want that choice to be able to decide where they deploy their workloads, et cetera. So there's a convergence of delivery model also. And then obviously from the software perspective, we look at it from you really do want a unified management and security experience across those. If you're going to consume and use those different delivery models, you really do want to make sure that your management and your security is consistent. So from a software perspective, we talk about converged management and security to give you a unified and a common experience to be able to secure your workloads and be able to manage those workloads either as you move them to different delivery models or you manage applications across them. In so, the life cycle. so those are the big kind of big driving software trends that you're seeing. Talk about HP's software business and its vision. I mean, HP is, you know, working to consolidate some of its software assets. It's bringing in assets. Obviously, made the autonomy acquisition. What's the strategy, um, you know, today, and where do you see it going forward? Yeah, so I. I think software is, uh, like the other business units, is very much lined up with the corporate strategy around the cloud, information, and security. So if you look at the, the software assets that we have within HP Software today, obviously we talk about hybrid delivery management and cloud management, where we manage everything from the infrastructure up to the applications, up to the information. And of course we manage the application lifecycle within that. So as we start to look at new composite hybrid applications or mobile applications taking advantage of the cloud, we manage the lifecycle of those applications. So that's been a traditional business really around the application and the operations management side. Um, really what we've done since we acquired ArcSight, uh, we've brought together the security assets uh, software assets in the company. So now within our enterprise uh, security products group, we have Tipping Point, ArcSight, Fortify that does the application security code scanning. Those have been brought together into a more holistic view of security for us. And then finally, of course, um, we're very focused on information. We have information management. Uh, we've announced Data Protector uh, here that works with autonomy uh, to give you the ability to be able to search your archives and your backup for uh, unstructured information that's been backed up. So you're seeing our information assets come together with autonomy, and then of course we've announced Vertica 6 uh, at this conference as well, which is our real-time analytics platform as well. So really we've brought the assets together into alignment with the overall HP strategy and software. I know sometimes you don't like to talk about internal plumbing, but just a, a clarifi clarifying question, is Vertica now part of the software uh, it portfolio? Is. Yes. It is, okay, it is, so that's yeah. official. Yep. And, uh, and so, you know, you think of, of software, you think of, you know, infrastructure, infrastructure management, you guys obviously have played there for a very long time, and then, you know, database and middleware and tools and, and applications, and you're playing in each of those. Um, how important are developers, and how do you reach out to developers as a software, you know, organization? Yeah. So I think uh, there's some major trends going on at the moment, obviously. Uh, if you look at what has happened with cloud computing, and the ability of the developer to basically go and consume infrastructure, be able to consume platform as a service and other things, 
that's really driving their agility. And we're seeing sort of the rise of the developer, if you like. Uh, they're coming back and being more significant. Um, one of the strategies that we have is really around something we call DevOps, which is really bringing the developer and the operations world together. So as you've seen agility really improve in application development around agile methodologies and leveraging the cloud, we're really trying to bring and extend that idea into agility and operations management, really to give companies much more time to market advantage in terms of building new applications and getting them deployed into production. Yeah, so um, we love DevOps, you know, so we've got a site called devopsangle.com and, and we've been, I think, early on that trend. Um, a lot of IT professionals really aren't familiar with the concept. We just did a survey in Wikibon and about almost 40% of the, the survey base said, that's a new term to me. Right. Uh, but at the same time, about 15% uh, said, we're a DevOps shop and we're achieving hyper productivity. Right. So when you talk to the DevOps guys, there's, there's an amazing transformation that's occurring. Now, my specific question is, and I think this is a, a, would be an interesting part of a you know, strategy, there's DevOps and maybe Ops Dev, you know, because Dev, yeah, if it breaks, no big deal. Ops, yeah. that's a big deal. And you guys exactly. have a really an operational infrastructure focus. So, what are you doing from the standpoint of your own organization to bring that ops and, and dev together, and how do you bring right. that to market? So I think you're right, Dave. Uh, when we talk to customers, there are certainly people driven from the development side that have gone from Agile and doing dev DevOps. If you go and ask the operations people, they're like, I don't know what that <laughs> means. But if you said to them, how are you managing uh, the velocity of change and the ability to accelerate application deployment, then they're like, oh, we have real problems. We have real bottlenecks in mm -hmm. getting things into production. So they may not, re they may not uh, relate directly to the term, which is more developer, but they do yeah. recognize the problem. So I think from an operation-centric, obviously you've got this dichotomy of developers are really incented to release fast, develop more. <laughs> operations people have, you know, keep things stable, don't change anything. So really bringing those together and making it safe in the way that we can release things. So we've uh, launched some new things in the show this week, uh, something called lab management, um, which is an extension of our ALM 11.5 announcement. So this is the ability to basically provision environments, provision test harnesses, provision applications, and automate the whole provisioning of that. And of course the running of the tests and then of course automating the release to production. So we think it's a, you know, it's a maturity thing and it's going to take some time, but certainly we see a lot of customers coming together on that agenda. Yeah, new skill sets coming together, you know, where operational and development people are sharing those skill sets and, and you know, we're seeing tremendous impacts on organizations. Um, Munder Capital was one of the folks that mm. we had on, on theCUBE and, and uh, we did a case study on them and really, you know, fabulous uh, uh, activities going on there. I want to ask you about big data. Um, you mentioned Vertica, we talked a little bit about autonomy. Talk about HP from a software perspective and cloud, what the big data strategy is. So, uh, you know, when we talk about big data, um, it, it's often people just throw everything together, but I think we have a very clear strategy on uh, the three types of data and bringing those together. So when I think about data and I talk to customers, we really talk about machine data. So events and logs and all of the operational data that you have. So if you think about what we do in enterprise log management with Artsite Logger, you know, we have uh, appliances there that consume 27,000 events per second and logs. So we can consume a massive amount of data and actually put that and use that for leverage for things like anomaly detection. So we talk about machine data and the volume of machine data on one side. And then of course with Vertica, we talk about what it means to take your relational database information and really do real-time analytics on that. Um, so we've, we've announced in that a lot of R-based technology, R statistical analysis mm -hmm. that we do in there, um, that's really given us the ability to be you know, about a thousand times faster than a relational database to do analytics. Um, it's about a third of the cost and it's about a fifth of the footprint. So it's a pretty significant advantage around how you're going to get real-time insight to structured data. And then of course if you talk about the unstructured side, then really that's the autonomy story. But if you look at what we're doing in bringing those together, we're really starting to look at how do you leverage machine data with structured data, with unstructured data, to give you a holistic view and better insight and the ability to act on that information mm -hmm. altogether. So how do you do that? So I think, um, you know, obviously you've got operational data which we deal with uh, on a hourly basis, right? The response time has to be hourly, you have to pick that up. So ArcSight obviously plugs into our enterprise security monitoring type solutions with ArcSight. It plugs into our operations management portfolio there, our BSM portfolio. 
So that works really well on that side. Of course, we can archive that data off for trending into Vertica, for example, and bring together information that might be more structured rather than event logs there. And then, of course, if you take the final part of that, we can bring all of the unstructured data from autonomy that's been classified and understood by them and relate it back. So we have case studies of customers that are looking at all their operational data and they're monitoring uh, financial transactions and they're marrying that up with security data together, analyzing it in Vertica, and then adding IMs and email insight to that to be able to look at fraudulent transactions. Interesting, so I, I know you got to run and we're, we're tight on time. Um, you've seen the Splunk phenomenon. You must, yeah. you must love that because you guys are, are actually extending the value proposition to a, a wider set of capabilities. Exactly there. right. So I think we, you know, we have uh, we we have a competitive offering against them, but it's great because they're they're defining the market and certainly uh, showing that there is demand for this. But I think what we've done is we've taken an even broader view mm. of what the information management That's needs good. to be holistically. Hi, right, Mark. Well, thanks very much for taking some time out. Thanks of your very much, Dave. Appreciate right, it. Keep right there. Silicon Angle TV. We'll be right back live from HP Discover after this.